Hey everybody, welcome back, Issues, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So Moon Knight has a show, and I went to the library to grab a Moon Knight book, and guess what? I don't have a single one. <laughs> so I thought, you know what, let's just do Spider-Man. This is just an episode for me. You know, a lot of episodes are for you. I'm like, hey, you know what they really enjoy? This one's just for me. This is a book that was coming out when I was reading comic books, or at least I was able to buy comic books, but they were still elusive to me. I wouldn't come on the scene until after this epic tale called Spider-Man Round Robin, The Sidekick's Revenge. <laughs> this has Moon Knight in it. Oh, so, well. it's, so it's tangentially related. I can yeah. I can legally put Moon Knight in the in the wow. captions or titles. Oh yeah, he's even on one of the covers. Oh, he's and he's integral. And this oh. is, this might as well be a Moon Knight book. This is written by Al Milgram with art by Mark Bagley for the most part. This is when Mark Bagley he had already done a two-part Nova cameo story. But Mark Bagley would come on the scene and replace Eric Larson as the regular penciler on Spider-Man and would define a generation. You know, he'd introduce Carnage and, and <laughs> Cardiac, you know, like other characters that were definitively of that era. Right. Yeah, but one of them seemed to stand out among the rest. Yeah, yeah, I think Cardiac has been edged out a little bit in the cultural <laughs> zeitgeist. I'm sorry, we only Carnage. had one room for a C uh, named villain. It's, yeah. it's gotta be Carnage. Ironically, the first appearance of Cardiac is also the first appearance of Cletus Cassidy hmm. getting his Carnage symbiote. But if you are a Cardiac fan, like I know one of you is, then your copy of the first appearance of Cardiac would go from the value of like, say, $2 to $150. You know, it's just <laughs> because Carnage is also in it. So overwhelmed by popularity <laughs> and dwarfed is Cardiac. But I'm still expecting, you know, I know Morbius, <laughs> that powerhouse of a film, is it, if that's any indication, Sony will be making that Cardiac movie any day now. <sighs> oh, okay, so in order to understand the context for this epic story mm. that regular writer David Michelinie didn't do, and I don't know why besides him going either, I don't wanna fucking do that, or- he a break. He, he, Yes, he'd been writing Spider-Man since the formation of Venom and all the way through, well, Amazing Spider-Man, I should say, the flagship title. Right. Uh, so maybe he needed like a six issue break <laughs> because Milgram steps in and just goes, whatever Michelini was doing, forget it. Hey, I'm reading this sequentially numbered story that builds upon itself. Mm -hmm. Let's just throw all that away for six issues. That's right. Well, did it just conclude like a big arc before this? So maybe it was No. Like, no? Nova and Spider-Man meet and they fight the Tri-Sentinel. It's in this collective volume. You can get in the comments down below. It's from the Epic Collection. I love these Epic Collections, the, man. The Tri-Sentinel? Is that the Tri-Sentinel? Yeah, he's got three faces and four arms. Oh, okay. Right, three faces, Tri-Sentinel. Tri-Sentinel, like the Tribunal, living Tribunal. <laughs> So a year prior, uh, they, uh, Chuck Dixon wrote a three-part Moon Knight story that sets this up, and it's like really important. And I'm like, why? <laughs> like, Milgram, what are you doing paying homage to Chuck Dixon's bullshit Moon Knight story? And in the Moon Knight story, Moon Knight, Spider-Man, and Punisher team up, and they fight the Secret Empire. Now, hilariously, <laughs> Nick Spencer would take the Secret Empire uh, name and use a completely different thing for it. Mm. But back in the day... Well, the name is great. The it story is. The right. did with it was terrible, so I'm gonna use that for myself. That's fair. Uh, the, the Secret Empire is like number three in a three horse race of <laughs> shitty, evil organizations in the Marvel Universe. You know, like they're one step below AIM. And it's like right. Hydra, AIM, and the Secret Empire. Where does the hand fit? The hand is way higher because they got <laughs> fucking ninjas in it. It looks like there's ninjas here. Those, okay, those are training ninjas. The, the Secret Empire <laughs> subcontracts. Like dummies. No, no, yeah, like dummies. But I, uh, I, I okay, in my head canon, like I'm gonna say ninjas. they're mercenary ninjas. And oh, man, you couldn't- Ninjas for hire. In the 90s, you couldn't throw a rock without hitting a ninja, or rather, hitting the direction of a ninja before you dodged out of the way, of course, because ninjas are very fast. Oh, right. of course. But, there's, uh, three, there's ninjas all around us, ninjas, we never know. That's right, we have at least three ninjas in this office and I can't get rid of any of them. But <laughs> who's the secret empire? Uh, imagine every Cobra Commander ripoff organization you could possibly muster, right. and then remove any dignity and self-respect <laughs> and add a really lame gimmick. The gimmick being there are any number of members of the secret empire they all have 
Darth Vader masks and hooded robes mm. and Roman numerals on their chests like the stonecutters to God determine <laughs> their station in the organization. Oh. They take their orders from number one, right. except in Round Robin where they take their orders from number seven. Because the what? previous number ones both killed themselves rather than be taken in. Like anyone cares. Well, but I see number five right there. Why wouldn't they take their orders from him? If because number seven had the idea to do what's happening in Round Robin, the Psychic's oh. Revenge. And so they the, promote him to two? The, no! Right? The, the, the Secret Just Empire. Just cross out the, the V in the I front. know. They're, they're, it's a chaotic organization. Yeah. But uh, the Secret Empire. Uh, I love it because if you look up any like data about the Secret Empire, pre Secret Empire, uh, the gimmick, you know, nobody ever focuses on the fact they have voice modulation <laughs> masks so that their anonymity can be preserved. Right. But the, the one thing they like to point out about them is that they own, like, real companies that they use as shell corporations to fund mm. their evil organization. Like, who gives a shit? They all do that. <laughs> why yeah, why is these that? Are, these are members of society right. that are secretly part of well, this organization. No, they're, what's funny or is are they? They, they create, like, elite organizations like Eyes Wide Shut type. I was going to say, it sounds like Eyes Wide Shut. Yeah, it is, <laughs> but like... But they're not having sex with each other. No, it's yeah. okay. So it's like the Secret Empire invented Scientology to fund the Secret Empire. You know, like, there's their organization up here where like the wealthy elite go to fuck and donate money, <laughs> you know, to, to satisfy their, their fuck rooms. Right. And meanwhile, the Secret Empire is funneling that money into their evil nefarious schemes where they make cyborgs and stuff. <laughs> And I'm like, who cares? It, you know what? They're not nearly as fun to look at as AIM, so they will never ascend. The Secret right. Empire blows, and they are the main villains of this. <laughs> I'm like, what? What? what, what? Did you, do you, you did too many fucking Hydra stories in a row? Yeah. That's what happened? Yes. So in the, in the Moon Knight story arc, we establish uh, Jeff Wild, who is, was Moon Knight's sidekick. That's right, Moon what? Knight had a sidekick. <laughs> And where did he get this sidekick? Well, Moon Knight had a villain named Midnight Man. Midnight Man got cancer and died, but not before imparting his criminal secrets to his son, Jeff. Uh, Jeff then sought to understand uh, his villain, Moon Knight, his father's villain, Moon Knight, right. and in the process ended up just kind of begging Moon Knight to make him a sidekick. Moon Knight rejected him and not as unlike, well he should. Yeah, because no, I'm Moon Knight. I'm barely sustaining a franchise on my own. I'm not adding a Robin to this. How, how, what, am I supposed to feed you? Right, well, uh, no. Then outfit you and provide you with materials? I'm barely scraping by. I mean, no. That's not going to work. No, as, as, I feel like As a cultural Knight... icon, yes. But as a character himself, he's Mark rich. Spector's rich and he's uh, doing fine. That's true. I guess he could technically He could technically it. afford it. He could yeah. like give him his own apartment and just be like, sure, you're my sidekick. I'm never going to tell you when I'm going out. <laughs> and he's only a sidekick for like a little bit. So Moon Knight ends up committing Green Arrow egregious levels of oh. mentorship where he just oh. goes away for a while. Uh, and <laughs> Midnight, yeah, and Midnight's like, hey, hey, but you didn't tell me where you were going or yes, when you were coming back. That's right. And so Midnight tries to like, in actually ends up trashing Moon Knight's like room and <laughs> taking one of his costumes and just going out there and he bumps into Spider-Man and Spider-Man. Oh. And also being Moon Knight? Yeah, well he's, Yes. He was oh, he was yeah. impersonating Moon Knight. He's but moonlighting as Moon Knight? He, that's right. Which he should have just called himself Moonlight. <laughs> but uh, the Moonlighter. He, he goes out and he ends up uh, trying to take down the secret empire because like you got to start small when you're starting out. Right. And uh, he ends up getting <laughs> zapped by a laser dagger. A by laser the, dagger? Yeah, a dagger that yeah, shoots it's a, lasers. It's a dagger that doesn't cut you. It just stuns you. It, it blasts you with lasers. Oh, so no. So a laser. It would, it, yeah. <laughs> any kind of laser that would normally stun a superhero, but because Jeff is a teenager, it like obliterates him. He gets burned real bad. And then the Secret Empire takes him. And number seven is like, we should turn him into a fucking cyborg and make him work for us. And did they turn like him Robo into Cop? a freaking Anakin Skywalker? They more or less Darth Vader him, except like if Darth Vader was even lamer than he is in the prequels. So they take him away and Moon Knight and Punisher and Spider-Man track him down. They go to the Secret Empire's headquarters and they try to rescue Jeff. They fail, the whole place explodes or burns down or whatever they end up capturing number one who admits that they killed jeff like he's dead oh. so you can stop looking for him moon knight tearfully but like kind of crocodile tearfully uh mourns the loss of a sidekick and moves on with his life like anyone should like <laughs> right. most, well that's enough of that yeah well all's well that ends well jeff didn't die why is this six <laughs> parts <laughs> 
And I'll Wait tell you why it's six parts. He's the sidekick who gets revenge? Yes! Midnight! Moon Knight sidekick! Oh, I thought it was like the side. I just now noticed it's apostrophe. Yes! Left. I thought it was a bunch of sidekicks <laughs> no! getting together. Because you're like, oh, these are all young heroes that all team up with Spider Man. But no! Because, oh my god. If you think that there are a lot of cameos on the cover of the first issue, wait until you get to issue six! <laughs> because the cover needs to expand to show you how many characters show up in this freaking series. So, yes, Midnight is the they, sidekick. They limit it to three per cover. Yes. I can't but they, they mix it. and match the three, the, which one? They do. Out of they five, do. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe they turn it into the sidekick's revenge when really he's the villain's son's revenge, the nemesis's child's revenge. Yeah, yeah but he, he did become for like a, a sidekick minute. for a minute, and that's way yeah, easier to say. Yeah, but he was only say. doing that to like get no. to know the enemy of his father. No, no, no he didn't. He, no, he, 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 he went abandoned yeah. his father's quest to be a villain and went to redeem his father's name by being a good guy and kind of adopting slash modifying his father's moniker of Midnight Man into a way cooler named Midnight and teaming up with the guy who right. he thought killed his father because he also thinks that Moon Knight killed him, which he didn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, God forbid a hero kills somebody. Uh, a well, lot of characters Moon do Knight that in this. Tell him, like, well, I didn't kill him. Yeah, but Jeff never believed him. Or maybe he did, but he doesn't when he becomes a cyborg. Right. Because later, Jeff will be told the truth at m numerous intervals and will just say, I don't believe you! <laughs> right. Well, so... So he's on the path to being a bad guy, converts to being a good guy, and then Moon Knight abandons him, and so he goes back to being a bad guy. Yes. Well, basically. he... Okay, so when he is captured <laughs> by the Secret Empire, he was just having a temper tantrum against Moon Knight, but oh, also... He wasn't going to go He full. was still trying to prove he could be a better Moon Knight uh, than Moon Knight. Okay. And then immediately wizards So him. it's the cyborg stuff that makes him... That's what really... Ma it's, it's, it's his perceived re-abandonment, because... He hears the commotion of Moon Knight, and then it like stops being a commotion, and, mean, and Moon Knight never shows up and rescues him. So he's like, Moon Knight abandoned me. He left me here to the clutches of the uh, evil Like he Secret started Empire. to rescue me and then stopped. Yeah. I, I certainly didn't hear overhear them saying that they thought I was dead or anything. Right. Right. Well, no. I also never went back and talked to him and be like, hey, how come you never came back Well, he me? can't because he's, he's a victim. Like, now he's a captive of the Secret Empire, and they're making him into a freaking cyborg because his body was damaged beyond repair. If you ever look at those books, it looks pretty repairable to me. <laughs> also, no. he is no, assigned... No, one would date him. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting you should point that out because Jeff Wilde also is horny for this nurse that the Secret Empire kidnapped to help nurse Midnight into health enough to become a cyborg. She night nurse? <laughs> she is not the night nurse. She would be Midnight Nurse. <laughs> and she's also carried over from the Dixon story. And I'm like, Milgram, what are you doing? Why do you care so much about this fucking story? And like, I get what they're doing here because Dark Hawk was invented like a month before this issue came out. So like, we gotta sell Dark Hawk books. And I get why Dark Hawk's in what this. What the hell is Dark Hawk? Dark Hawk. What is a Dark Hawk? A Dark is Hawk. That this guy? Yeah. Okay. And he's dope looking. And mm. I think Dark Hawk is cool looking. It's, it's probably had, nostalgia goggles. I had the uh, Dark Hawk card, trading card. Trading card. Yes. He looked awesome, but yeah. I've never re read a single book by him. He's I've read several guy. issues of Dark Hawk. You can take him or leave him. Uh. Dark Hawk is a cooler action figure than he's ever been a character. Although. There's a, there's a, there's a lot of ideas here in the design. Yes. He's got the wings. The wings have spikes. <laughs> he has spikes coming out of his gauntlets. Yeah. Well, those are his claws. Yeah, he's, those are his talons. He's got talons. His, I'm not sure what's happening with the mask. Yeah. There's a red band. It's a visor. A visor. He's got a symbol on the chest yes. and a belt. That just, it's, the it's, symbol it's just... is the crystal that he touches to become Darkhawk. Uh, and it's a space that. crystal. And it, the Darkhawk is like a space entity that he can like channel and become. I see. They actually try and I think succeed in redeeming or at the very least legitimizing Darkhawk after Annihilation. Because they do another Annihilation after Annihilation. Mm -hmm. And they're like, who else can we fix? We fix Peter Quill, we fix Nova. Because Nova's in this too. Mm. He sucks. <laughs> he already had a two part story arc where he is a dick. And man, if you read Nova here, and then you go to Annihilation, you're gonna be like, this dude went through a friggin' transformation. Yeah, but Darkhawk's just another, he is a 90s Spider-Man. He's a young kid, he's from Queens. He gets possession of this thing that's like a shorthand for powers. And then he has to balance his life being Darkhawk versus being like a mild-mannered citizen and a young person who's trying to like make dates and whatnot. And it's like, that's not gonna work. You can't do that again. <laughs> you can't do that 30 years later and try to make that work. <laughs> sure I can, yeah. I like money. In the sidekick's revenge, 
we are treated to Jeff Wilde, Midnight, who they don't drop the moniker for. They're like, all right, Midnight, no one's using it. You're, you're Midnight now. Midnight, the evil cyborg that works for the Secret Empire. <laughs> and they're training him, and he's being a dickhead. Is this, is, do they yep. talk, call him Jeff in here? Like, we, we know call him who Jeff. Midnight is? Oh, yeah. Like, like right yeah. from the get-go? Oh, yeah. No, we talk about him, like, we're supposed to have read those three Moon Knight books that came out a year ago. <laughs> I'm reading Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm reading <laughs> Spider-Man right now, and I didn't read the Moon Knight books just because Spider-Man was in them. Much to your chagrin, because that's why you did that. I mean, I guess I guess it's good they're putting this in there, because otherwise we'd be like, what story? Yeah. Who are you? Ironically, they would pay off Jeff Wilde again in the Charlie Houston Moon Knight run. And I'm like, why? <laughs> He's doing his thing. And number seven of the Secret Empire is calling the shots, because number one's dead, and they still haven't decided who's going to be number one anymore. What? Right. I just, I just, I don't understand. You have numbers. I know. The hierarchy and the chain of command seems you, man, pretty they, apparent. They don't have the resources that like AIM or Hydra have, so they can't just keep making new shirts. They should have the numerals be Velcro, so you can take them <laughs> off and move them right, as, as needed. Right. Wow, number seven, you're really stepping up. The problem is you're not going to fit into number two's outfit. Robe. So It's just a robe! <laughs> we can't just change them. Right. Yeah, so. I don't, I don't want to wear it after you've been wearing it. Wash it first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can do that right now. No, what number two should do is shoot number seven, then yes. be like, I'm taking the idea for myself. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, great idea, number seven. That's how leaders now are Now I'm going to implement it and tell you what to do. Well, and- Because I have a two here. The Secret Empire is so disorganized and so crappy that number seven just go, I'm number one now. But they keep squabbling over who will be, like they haven't decided who's going to be the leader yet. Right. It's been a year <laughs> in real time where the Secret Empire is number one and has already died. And they're, and they're just getting to the Jeff Wilde Midnight Cyborg plan that number seven had the idea for. Mm. And the plan is, it works so well that we're going to make an army of cyborgs. Oh. We just need... Why, why would you even need Jeff then? Well, because he's our, he's our test subject. He's the first. We're going to see if it works. Yeah. We're going to put him out. We're going to have him do shit. And if he's successful, then we know that the cyborg plan works. So Jeff is our prototype cyborg. Right. But number seven's plan is more cyborgs. But... None of us can actually make cyborgs. We're lucky we got this guy. So we're gonna need to get <laughs> an they, electrical engineer who also him? is evil. The, the point, point is, is they need a new they scientist. Need a, they need a new whatever. scientist. They need an electrical engineer who knows their shit and also is down for evil. Because this is a Spider-Man book, we gotta cut back to uh, what's going on with Spider-Man yeah. and Peter Parker. Milgram doesn't give a shit about what's happening at Spider-Man. Michelinie is really hammering home the whole, Mary Jane and Peter Parker are newlyweds, but... Just oh, kinda, maybe it's not going to work out. Well, things are kind of kind of rocky right now. You know, like, Mary Jane is really down for him being Spider-Man until it's inconvenient. And then, you know what, actually, do you have to be Spider-Man, like, all the time? Uh, you know, this is the kind of thing that would drive me to smoke, and later she'll start smoking. But for now... Because he won't stop being Spider-Man. He just won't Spider stop being Spider-Man. Well, that's like, dangerous, and this is dangerous, so... Yeah, I'm teaching you a lesson about yeah. danger. And what's weird is like, Michelinie is, I, I think he's just infusing drama in the book. I don't think there's right. like a secret agenda. Right. Because he also wrote some of the more fun I'm married stories. Okay. But so you could he, tell. So he's not already getting buyer's remorse about the marriage. No. Like, I gotta kill this marriage. <laughs> this marriage was the worst maybe thing that happened to Peter. Maybe the, the foreshadow the, 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 the editors are like, you got, hey, listen, Dave, I'll, I'll slip you an extra 50 in every paycheck <laughs> if you start like <laughs> Laying poisoning the, the marriage for the readers. <laughs> what's funny is DiMatteis will do the exact opposite. He's just gonna infuse all of the love and adoration he has for his wife into that relationship and mm. make you want them to be married even more. <laughs> like, you know what'll conquer all? Love and marriage. The end. Michelin's like, no! <laughs> It'll make your wife want to smoke, and isn't that bad? <laughs> so, anyway, Milgram doesn't pay attention to that shit, so instead, Peter and Mary Jane go to visit Aunt May at her house. And wouldn't you know it, Aunt May loves pro wrestling. A thing that will never be paid off and never be picked up ever again. <laughs> But Two she, muscular, sweaty guys rolling around on the floor, grappling each other. She, yeah, she's all in for that. She she likes them because it's like soap opera. She's like, oh, these are my stories. Get them, Crusher, you know, doing her thing. Yeah. Sh she's getting really excited about the show. And he goes, well, maybe we should turn it off, Aunt May. I don't want you to, like, keel over from watching wrestling. And, you're getting a little worked up. Right! And she's like, excuse me. And she just backhands <laughs> Peter. Right, she might or as well. she suplexes him. No, so, like... Peter and Mary Jane go to Aunt May's house. They go, they live in Manhattan. They go to Queens. They drop by Aunt May's, unannounced. And then Peter's like, I feel like web slinging. Hey, MJ, stay here and watch Aunt May. And if the show, I'm not gonna let this wrestling thing go. If the show gets too exciting for Aunt May, turn it the fuck off. <laughs> is, is this just a show that like, oh, Peter doesn't understand and like, 
Mary Jane's gonna be like, okay, now that he's gone, the girls can have some fun. That'd be hilarious, but no, there's no time for that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really frustrating because and when you're sucks. reading, yeah, because when you're reading Michelinie <laughs> stuff, like it's 60% Spider-Man and 40% Peter Parker stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and and there's and, and you get attached to it. Yeah, and now it's just like my nah, 5% Peter Parker. Yeah, stuff, and it's lame. And it's really lame because it's Spider-Man <laughs> choked with other characters that I would never want to see Spider-Man interact with. <laughs> so Spider-Man goes off. And uh, he, he remembers how cool his cameo in Dark Hawk number two and three was. <laughs> like he flashes back like to Dark Hawk, on sale now. He's Eat like, me. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, you That's know who's cool? He and I fucking get, Dark Hawk. Goblin. Then we cut to Dark Hawk. So, so now it becomes a Dark Hawk book. So now it's a Dark Hawk book. We yeah. just fucking kept to Chris Powell, whose dad died, and he was a cop, and he goes to the precinct and he thinks about his origin, just in case you're interested in picking up Dark Hawk, but you don't know what he's all about. <laughs> and uh, so he's. He's in the precinct. He's going to pick up his dad's stuff. His dad's old partner uh, suspected he was on the take, wants to talk to Chris about it. Chris doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to think about his dad in negative light. But that's okay. Thank God that's over because now Midnight's back. He blasted the wall. Oh. Because they have a member of the Wrecking Crew, the only member of the Wrecking Crew who has an electrical engineering degree, uh, <laughs> under lock and key here at this precinct. So uh, Midnight is here to break out Thunderball, who is going to help them in their schemes. And the, the reason he'll do that is because we're breaking him out of jail. He'll be so grateful he'll work for us. And he sure. is, so uh, it works out. Okay. So, I feel like that's kind of a given. Yeah. yeah forever? For how long? Ah, uh, you broke me out. I gotta work for the, you. The Secret Empire seems to suggest that anyone they bring under their employ will be there forever. Ah. You owe me for life for well, breaking like you out of jail. You're my prisoner. Like my they, sentence was like three months. Yeah. Well, well, now you work for me forever. Now you're working the Secret <laughs> Empire. How great would it be if Thunderbolt was like, I'm not leaving. Fuck that. No, he's down. I'm out in three weeks on good behavior. Exactly. <laughs> so, if I go with you, I'm never getting out of here. Exactly. I wish that Once would happen. They get me. That yeah. happened in like the X Men animated series. They keep like trying to break out Beast, and he's like, "This is a civil rights case. <laughs> I have like two doctorates." <laughs> so, uh, Midnight grabs Thunderball, and they leave, and they jump out the window. So the Secret Empire has members waiting in the wings on their. If you have hover jets yeah. and flying jet skis and UFOs. You don't need an electrical engineer to make cyborgs. Right, you clearly already have You're good. That. Oh no, those may have been holdovers. Yeah, right, that's true, yeah. Because they're a shitty organization. Anybody that they might entice <laughs> with the sales pitch, they're gonna lose in three weeks. <laughs> so anyway, Darkhawk shows up because Chris Powell was in the precinct at the time. So he fights Midnight. Okay. I, I'm sorry, I just had a thought. They want an electrical engineer. Don't you need a biologist as oh, well yeah. to make a cyborg? We have no. This, no, we have a nurse that we kidnapped. Oh. And she has some experience with healing wounds. With biology. That's well, it. here's the thing. Yes. We need the electrical engineer to make the mechanical stuff. Yeah. And then the nurse will heal him. Right. When right. He obviously gets infected. She'll make sure he doesn't die put from the, wrong place. the metal yes. parts. That's right. I don't think you know what you're doing. They don't. The Secret that's Empire That's why they're sucks. Secret Empire. Yeah, yeah, that's why they still don't have a number one. Yeah. All right. So he cuts a Punisher. He's uh, shaking nope. down an informant for information about the Secret Empire. Why does he want to know? Because 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 he's in the book. Right. Now I'm going to care about Secret Empire. Because a year ago in the three-part Moon Knight story, that's what he was doing. Uh, I'm I got to take down the Secret later. Empire. Because I guess it's not interesting enough. I think Punisher had like three books at this point. Jeez. Punisher was very popular. And he was in other people's books. But ironically, you know, Spider-Man was in Darkhawk. And we Punisher, Dark Hawk. yeah, Punisher was in Moon Knight and Spider-Man, and Moon Knight was in Spider-Man, but nobody was in Punisher, because <laughs> Punisher could sell three fucking titles. Well, he also kills people. All so right. Spider-Man shows, oh, so the, the Secret Empire's waiting in the wings, and they're like, well, we should go give Midnight support, and they're like, let's see what he can do. So they wait. Uh, then Spider-Man shows up and he sees the Secret Empire. They're like, he's fucking up. He's, our, he's losing a Dark Hawk. We gotta get in. So they, they launch their, their, their jet skis. Spider-Man swings in. He helps out Dark Hawk. He's just like, hey, Dark Hawk, you're new. There's, there's no fun repartee between these characters. What are you talking about? It says, hey, Dark Hawk, no, sh short, short time, time, no, no see. see. Yeah, I was in your book. That's it. <laughs> it's that kind of stuff. Dark Hawk himself <laughs> leaps in, calling what he's doing an amazing feat of daring do. Like most 19-year-olds in the 90s would say. 
Well, he's he's uh, quoting. Yeah, he's a, right. He's paraphrasing. Yeah. Like he's, he, he's, he's, it's an homage. Yeah, I heard about, the, you know, yeah. old timers say this stuff. Exactly, right? like Spider-Man. Yeah. So uh, Darkhawk fucks up, and uh, one of the one of the discs flying hovercraft things that the Secret Empire is using, like, flies out of control and towards a crowd. Oh no! Spider-Man webs it. And you got a lot to learn, it. Dark Hawk. That's right. But that leaves him open for Midnight to punch him. And that's what this, this... Everyone, I think a lot of people love Round Robin, the sidekick's revenge, if they remember it at all. <laughs> because number one, a bunch of new, fun, cool, young, awesome characters. Number two, a lot of fighting. A lot yeah. of fight scenes. You know, you talk about it like decompression in comic books now. Mm. Where it's like, hey, it's 16 pages of characters talking to each other about their relationship. <laughs> and then one page of action that is interrupted with more conversation. <laughs> this is six issues of characters interacting and fighting. Like conversations are interrupted by huge fight scenes. Right, they go, go on, on and pages on. and pages. That's right. So uh, Darkhawk blasts Midnight with his chest amulet that also doubles as like a concussive forced field blast thing that oh. holds Midnight against the wall. Spider-Man takes his mask off and immediately recognizes him as Jeff Wild Midnight, the character he interacted with a year ago in Moon Knight. Spider-Man flashes back to that Moon Knight book, which I find interesting that there is no annotation to find those issues. Oh yeah, that's really weird. Spider-Man gets attacked by uh, Thunderball, who attacks him, and then Midnight grabs Thunderball and leaves, but not before Spider-Man hits him with a spider tracer and they take off, and they throw one of those hovercrafts that gave them so much trouble before, at them, with like a self-destruct. Oh, dun, oh dun, no. Dun. Oh, and there's a man in a wheelchair. It's a woman in a wheelchair. Oh, a woman in a wheelchair. Yeah. Yes, who's gonna be hit by it. She's gonna oh. be hit by it, oh no! Oh no, that would remind me of Aunt May. <laughs> yeah, uh, it doesn't. Uh, it should, because it's basically just Aunt May. But, uh, so Spider-Man is like, I'm too far away to get there in time, and Darkhawk is like, I'm, not fast enough to get there unless you toss me. You've got to toss me. What? You How was that special? Him? How yeah. was that faster than Spider-Man just jumping over there? Because or webbing it again? Because, or just shooting a web? Because it'd be cooler if Spider-Man did a fastball special with Darkhawk. Right. No, it's not. No, look at that. The thing is already falling. Like it's in motion, yeah. heading right towards her. He's saying, "I see it," but there's no way. We it already hit her. <laughs> Like halfway through your sentence. Oh, you gotta you gotta take the, the, the dialogue with a grain of salt. He's saying that before that happened, as it's happening. That's action between the panels. You know, you you can't have a character you can't have like a, a ticking time bomb that's in ten seconds and have a character say, But there's no time for me to stop that bomb. And in the same city as my mother, you know, like yes, the bomb would have gone off. In the city of up. my childhood. It blew up yeah. five seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> it, it blew up five seconds ago. <laughs> So Spider-Man whips no, Darkhawk. So, so Spider-Man whips Darkhawk at it, and he grabs it and redirects it, and it explodes. But then it hits a building, which causes falling debris, oh, which Spider-Man catches. And Darkhawk's like, "Oh, I screwed up! Stupid, stupid! I can't believe I fucked that up!" And Spider-Man's yeah. like, "You did, Darkhawk." No, Spider-Man's <laughs> like, "Hey, man, we're always, you know, it's it's, a, it's we're grading on a curve here, man. You're doing fine. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. You're a good right. kid. You're trying." And Earlier in the book, Spider-Man lamented about the fact that the last time he had his interaction with Darkhawk, he didn't get to give him the power responsibility speech. Oh, yes. But hey, now, now a, we got a quiet a moment. So hey, listen, by the way, uh, power responsibility. Like, he gives him the whole speech. <laughs> yeah. Because- uh, Don't beat yourself up, but- Right. With great power does come great responsibility, so Does also he don't tell not beat him yourself. his backstory? Yeah. No, uh, Or are we just seeing it for our benefit? We see it for our benefit. Spider-Man uses vague terms, but we know we can fill it in. Thankfully, Bagley can fill it in with you know, images. But Darkhawk alludes to the idea that he's had like a family member and blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, I, 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 made, a, I made a mistake and somebody paid the price. Spider-Man's like, I know that all too well. Mm. Right. <laughs> I know that too well. <laughs> Don't talk to me for a while. See, That's what he does. Like Spider-Man, right kids, read, read Darkhawk yeah. too. He's basically just Spider-Man, but cooler looking. Right. Finally, a character I can relate to. Yeah. yeah. Look, he's got a claw web. Right? Look how yeah. shiny his helmet is. He so shiny. Spider-Man can see himself in it. That's right. That's that's a that's the kind of sheen you'll only get from space. Wait, there's also no visor there. It, it comes down in like a little peak. Yeah. So that's two different eyes. No, that's just that's 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 the perspective. You know, if it's if you're looking at it from up down, it looks like eyes, but if you look at it face on, it's a visor. Oh. The front part is just it oh, protrudes out. Oh, that's weird. Out. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, that way you can draw them from multiple angles and have different cool looks for right. Dark Hawk. Look different, no, different. But I love it because Dark Hawk's like, I'll think about what you said, and he leaves. And Spider Man's like, I think you're gonna be okay, Dark Hawk. And I'm like, can you imagine, like today, Spider Man being like, I wonder what's up with Dark Hawk. Yeah, I felt bad for him. I really like that character. Like, no, no, they're what, never gonna do that. What did happen to Dark Hawk? Nothing good. Obscurity. Oh boy. They did try to bring him back but he's recently. Not dead. Like he had an like he had a thirty year anniversary. He's and dead. So they brought as far him back. He, yeah. he he's alive. <laughs> yeah, but not in popular opinion. Oh yeah, no, he's culturally dead. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Spider Man gives Robbie Robertson some film with Mary Jane because he needs somebody to talk to. Because hey, Mary Jane, come with me while I deliver film. Yes. To my employer. Right. I have a life I'm I have bored. to get back to. Yeah. I'm on a soap opera. Uh, I'm bored, and you're my wife. So get in line. <laughs> You because don't show up to work until like four in the afternoon. You don't have to do anything, okay? You, you, you have the time to accompany me to my aunt's house and stay there while I be Spider-Man and then walk with me back home, which he does. <laughs> By so, the way, did she teach you how to make wheat cakes yet? Because that's why I left you there. She did. But Milgram doesn't know that. But that's a thing. That's, in, that's canon. Anyway. So, so Mary Jane nice. also knows how to make wheat cakes. She does. Cool. So Jeff delivers Thunderball to the Secret Empire and they give him the sales pitch. Right. And there's literally three pages where the Secret Empire pitches Thunderball on the Secret Empire. You're like, oh, we got lasers. <laughs> hey. We, we, got, we got rooms with all kinds of technology and shit. I we also have a rec room with foosball. Right. No, they don't. That's the thing. The Secret Empire isn't even have an arcade. No, you know? they do have a tank. Yeah, but like, who cares? Tanks are fucking cool. Yeah, but they shot it with a, with a freeze ray, so it's, now it's broken. <laughs> Right. They well, only use it as, a, as an example. Well, I got so much shit, I can afford to freeze a tank yeah. with a freeze you ray the only tank for we you. Got? We got tanks up the wazoo. <laughs> Do you yeah. have a break room with coffee? No. No, we don't. <laughs> like, the Foot Clan is cooler than the Secret Empire. Hey, hey, I got one thing that I know is going to put it over the top. Okay, let's hear it. It's a robe with the number eight oh, on it. Oh, my God. <laughs> with your name on it. Well, it's, your number. With your number right here. Number eight. Right here. <laughs> Every number higher than eight is below you. Get yeah. it on the ground floor, my friend. Are there any numbers higher than eight at the moment? No. Not yet, <laughs> but there will be. But there will be. We are recruiting. Yeah, actively. Know? So No, they have like, I think they're up to like 13. It doesn't matter. Because <sighs> the Secret Empire is like, so here's the idea. Because the Secret Empire is also a Ponzi scheme. They're like, okay, so what we'll do is we'll get you, and maybe you'll call your friends from the Wrecking Crew, and they'll come, and they'll join the Secret <laughs> Empire. And he's like, let me tell you something, man. Let me, let me, let me stifle that right now, because I'm sorry. I got to quash that, that scheme of yours, because... Super villains don't work well together. They're terrible teammates. They'll betray you. It's bullshit. And I'm like, oh, Thunderball's going places. Yeah. He goes, listen, the fact is, what you should probably do, if you're looking to actively recruit superpowered beings to join your organization, you know, you're not going to get the wrecking crew, okay? Pile driver is not going to join. He sucks. But what you should probably do, this town is choked with young, impressionable superheroes. Huh. Characters that have powers, like real powers, not like enchanted powers wrecking balls that I don't have anymore by the way <laughs> like my powers are gone I'm just a guy with like three PhDs but still <laughs> what you should do is you should go and like kidnap any member of like the new warriors and just give them the sales pitch you know tell right. them you got an arcade and shit yeah just and, turn them into a bad guy yeah but also get an arcade right yeah get like, an arcade then give them the sales right pitch. give them cigarettes and <laughs> maybe maybe they'll join you're like Regular Nova mental. exactly <laughs> So like maybe Nova, you know? Nova's young oh. and he's been around from, since the 80s, but for some reason we're treating him like he's Nova's a kid anymore. Nova's been to space. Yeah, yeah. well. Has he seen the tank? Right, and the freeze ray. <laughs> and the freeze ray that destroys that tank. Anyway. Huh? That is sad. So uh, Jeff is feeling marginalized by the secret empire, you know? He's like, I'm just gonna be part of like the cyborg plan you know, I'm gonna be a grunt. They're gonna treat me like I'm just a foot soldier and I should be in charge. Like I should be leading the secret empire. Mm. And I have mm. nothing to prove that. I have no leadership skills. Oh. But Don't Lynn, worry, you can talk to the nurse. He can talk to Lynn, his nursemaid from the previous story. Remember Lynn? She's here and she's- Yeah, the kidnapped nurse. And she's smoking hot. Somebody in this book talks about how hot she'd be if only she'd lose those glasses. Huh, what? And I'm like, what is this, mind? she's all that? <laughs> Yeah, let me give her a makeover. Yeah. Now the end. She's hot. Nice. Let that Perfect. hair down. <laughs> she's hot now. Maybe I'm biased. We get an origin story for him some more, talking about why he hates Moon Knight. He abandoned me to die. He thought I, you know, he left me there. He didn't even right. try. He didn't even, he didn't ask any questions. Right. So he I'm, should know. He's a superhero. Like he yeah. if, if you don't see the body, they're not dead. Yeah. 
So obviously I wasn't dead because he didn't see me. Exactly. So meanwhile, how great would it be if Moon Knight was like, I didn't care. Right. Yeah. At the end of yeah, this, like, you should no. hate me. Yeah. I am an asshole. I didn't want you to come back. He feels, he's like George with the, the loss of his wife. Like, he knows he should care. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Frank Castle's trying to take down the Secret Empire, gets a call from Microchip. He's like, hey, I saw Darkhawk and Spider Man fight the Secret Empire, so maybe there's something going on over there. And he's like, cool, I'm going to go kill these guys now. And then he does. <laughs> so Spider Man is like, wow, I know that Midnight used to be Moon Knight's sidekick, and Moon Knight used to be a member of the West Coast Avengers, and it's the early 90s, so I am a reservist Avenger. So I have an Avengers ID card. Yeah, I can and contact the West Coast Avengers. Let, they don't exist anymore. But <laughs> oh, I can go to Avengers no Mansion and they can let me in without like a fight and I can talk to them about calling Moon Knight. Because I don't know how to call Moon Knight, right. but they probably they do. They still have his number probably. They probably have his number, exactly. I think you have to build a pyramid under like a crescent moon or something. No, <laughs> he has an Avengers ID card and they're like, they're like cell phones. So Spider-Man <laughs> goes to Avengers Mansion and he goes to Captain America and he's like, hey man, uh, can we call Moon Knight? And Captain America goes, yeah, man, you could call Moon Knight. Y you have an Avengers ID card. Those things call everybody. You could just you could just say you want to talk to Moon Knight, and it'll call Moon Knight. <laughs> but, but, no need to come here. But, but since you're here, let's call Moon Knight yeah. together. Well, I don't know screen. why no one ever told you this. Yeah. So they do. And I can't look at this page without also seeing the Moon Knight memes that have circulated the internet. Because I don't know if you're familiar with the Moon Knight versus Dracula memes, but they're hilarious. Uh, there's a scene I in which not. Moon Knight is descending a staircase, and there's a very convincing looking panel where he says, I know you're in here, Dracula, you big fucking nerd. Now where's my goddamn money? <laughs> the idea that Moon Knight apparently is owed money by Dracula, and he has no <laughs> chill about it. He's got a big old medallion around his neck. That's gotta be worth That's something. That's gotta be worth something. Someone's hacking the system, but who? Moon Knight? Where's my goddamn money? <laughs> no one here owes you money, you drunk, crazy asshole. Dracula isn't even on the Avengers, so stop calling here. <laughs> nice. And then Moon Knight goes- I would believe that is a real panel. Wait, Dracula isn't an Avenger? That lying fuck. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> And that is way more popular than the issue it came from, in which Spider-Man and Captain America call Moon Knight, and he goes, hey guys, what's up? And they're like, hey, listen, uh, I just fought Midnight. He's alive and a cyborg, and he tried to kill us. And he's like, oh, do you know where he is now? And he goes, no, but we should team up. You should come over to Spider-Man. It's great here. The sales are way better. You're gonna love it. Plus Bagley's drawing you. You look pretty cool. And he's like, okay, I guess I will. So they team up. Meanwhile, Nova's doing his thing, you know, being a human rocket, flying around, and then Midnight just jumps on him from one of those hovercrafts, Whoa. and he's like, hey, listen, Nova, what's going on? My name's Midnight. Let me ah! give you the sales pitch. Ah! That's literally it. Like, he just grabs her, he's like, oh, like, what's going on? So, like, uh, he just, he starts pitching the secret empire to Nova. You should join, it's great. And Nova's like, what? what? You just jumped on my back, man. <laughs> yes. What, what so makes then, you think I would want to do that? So Spider-Man's talking to Moon Knight on the communicator. He's like, I'm swinging around, I'm looking for Midnight. We'll find him eventually. Meanwhile, Nova's like driving. He's flying around with Midnight. And then uh, Spider-Man sees Midnight is in Nova's grasp. So he like flies and kicks Midnight in the face. Does he tell Moon Knight? Oh. I got eyes on him. Yeah, basically. Okay. Cool. And Midnight's like, ah. And Nova goes, what the fuck, Spider-Man? And in the last two issues, uh, Nova was a dickhead to Spider-Man, but uh, they became friends. But they, they have a terse relationship, so, it's, you know. So Spider-Man shows up, he's like, hey, yeah. that was mine, Spider-Man. Yes. I was going to kick the shit out of him until you showed up. I was, I was going to, I was listening to him. Oh, I wanted to hear his I want to hear him out. He, still, he wasn't done. Yeah. He was telling me about this sweet new organization called the Secret Empire. Right. And they have a rec room and a ball pit and uh, <laughs> Two types of cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Nova calls Night Thrasher, who's leading the New Warriors, which is the team that those two are on. Right. And uh, and lets him know like that Spider-Man is interfering with some official New Warriors business and that he oh should come God. in and get Spider-Man off of his back. So what was Spider-Man's plan for rescuing um, Midnight after he kicked him out of Probably Nova's just grab grasp? him and wait for Moon Knight to show up and be like, here he is, good luck. Okay, because now he got into a tiff with Nova and now Midnight is falling to his death. Yes. Because nobody's saving him because right. Spider-Man and Nova are fighting. Yeah, but that's okay because Midnight has jet boots and so he just flies out of the way. Oh. So Nova's like, wait, well, you could fly? You mean you were never in any danger? Like I wasn't, me, me holding you aloft wasn't, like I was doing it for show? And he's like, yep, you yeah. idiot. Now join our team, Yeah, you moron. <laughs> Basically. And then Night Thrasher shows up and he kicks Spider-Man. So Nova and Midnight <sighs> wow. fight and Spider-Man and Night Thrasher showing up and fighting. I feel like 
trying to throw Spider-Man under the bus and being like, he's interfering with our business yeah. would never work for anyone in the Marvel Universe. I agree. Everyone knows that Spider-Man's a nice guy. It's like trying to say like, hey, hey, Superman's here and he's being a total ass. Right. Can it you like, like stop him? It sounds like you're the one who's an asshole. Yeah. I think I know well, Superman. Like. Yeah, exactly. So Moon Knight shows up and he's like, hey, I'm here too. And then Midnight uses yeah. the confusion to leave. He just grabs Nova and oh. he, he blasts him. Why does he want Nova? I don't understand. Because 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 Thunderball told the Secret Empire that Nova was an ideal candidate, oh. and uh, they sent Midnight like an errand boy to go I get see. him. Specifically I Nova. Collect some people that are new. Like, like Nova. Nova. Like Nova. 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 Will do. Got it. Nova. Like Nova. Oh, no, like no, like Nova. <laughs> no, that is my plan now. <laughs> right. So he knocks out Nova and he takes I can't him. Moon Knight shows up and, and Midnight's like. Oh no, yeah. conflict. Yes. Yep. I have to leave before oh. things get resolved with that, words. That's right, that's right. <laughs> yep. Yep, because we need four more issues. Oh boy. Buckle up. Man. So they all team it, up. It, I'm just picturing the city's just like choked with here. There's yeah. just No, it's like the tick. They're just bumping into each other. Just flying all over the place. Yeah, absolutely. Getting in each other's way. Yeah. Ugh. Like yeah. way more heroes than there are crime to be done. Absolutely. <laughs> Seems that's, like kind of a problem. That is the premise of the tick, where it's like, in the diner, <laughs> there are superheroes just hanging out and drinking coffee because there's plenty of them to go around. The fun part would be if you have that scene where there's also like a table of villains yeah. at the diner. Oh. And like, well, they'd like They're order the clock. fake food for them. <laughs> hey, these guys want the lobster. They want the surf and turf. <laughs> Damn it, who ordered this freaking surf and turf at the diner? <laughs> <laughs> Leave. Damn you, Batroc. So the, the heroes get into Moon Knight's awesome moon copter Whoa, jet thing. Whoa, that is awesome. Which is driven by Moon Knight's real sidekick, Frenchie, who's right. a Frenchman who drives the moon copter and also knows how to like repair it and build it and stuff. Yeah. So um, And smokes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course he does. He's French. So What's the name of uh, the owl in freaking Watchmen? Archie. 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 Yeah, this is, yeah, this is another Archie. That's yeah, right. That's exactly. Right. This is Alvin. <laughs> Alvin, the, Alvin moon. the moon copter. Yeah. The moon jet? I don't remember. Because it's not really a copter. Uh, so Jeff and Nova go into a, like, secret fake water tower that is actually an entrance to the secret empire. Uh, Punisher watches it. You know, he watches them go in. And he's like, no, okay. Shit, superheroes are involved. These people are stupid. <laughs> and they're going to fuck up my plans to murder everybody with guns. <laughs> So, right, they'll try to stop me from murdering people. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, Spider Man's spider sense goes off because, of course, he put a tracker on Midnight. Mm. So he knows where Midnight is, or at least he has a vague idea. So they drop down, and when they get there, Punisher's there. And they're like, oh, shit, Punisher. Meanwhile, oh, no. Night Thrasher and Punisher had teamed up. Oh. So there's a great conversation later after like more Secret Empire goons show up because the, all the superheroes land on the roof, and Punisher's like, you guys are dumb. And they're like, what do you mean, Punisher? And he's like, before you got here, the Secret Empire didn't know I was here. And then all the Secret Empire goons show up. So there's a big awesome fight scene of at least four heroes kicking ass and taking names, including Midnight who shows up to fight Moon Knight. Moon Knight, uh, you know, I didn't know you were alive, Midnight. How could I possibly believe you? You left me to be destroyed and turned into a cyborg, which I seem to really enjoy being, so why am I so mad about it? But fuck you. Uh, meanwhile, Night Thrasher, you know, he saves the day, and then, so like, they're kicking ass. They're kicking the shit out of these secret empire goons, which yeah. would be more Especially fun. Especially Punisher, who's just murdering Who's them. just shooting, he's straight up shooting them. And they're like, hey! Night Thrasher's like, nice. Because mm -hmm. Night Thrasher's also cool with killing. Night Thrasher and, t and Punisher had teamed up. And so at one point, like, when they're alone, you know, Punisher's like, sup, Night Thrasher, nice job. <laughs> and Night Thrasher's like, hey, Frank, you're awesome. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> let's ditch these losers and go shoot people. <laughs> so. Then, murder is fun. Then the Seekers show up. Iron Man villains who are contracted out by the Secret Empire. Uh, With what money? The, the, the sex money that they yeah. get from all the, well, the wealthy one percenters. <laughs> oh, of course. That's a lucrative yeah. business. I'm like, yeah, why are you even are really the Secret expensive. Empire? The Secret Empire should just be making celebrities fuck each other with masks on. No, we want to rule the world. You basically do. With force though, with got, lasers and you shit. You got the head of GE and Disney all like going in like circle jerk. Like what are you talking about? Yeah, you but we have, to, like, we have to remain behind the scenes. I don't want to anymore. I want enough power, military yeah. power right. that no, I can no. just openly rule. I want to take a shit on the White House desk. Like money yeah. is, a, is a wonderful tool and I love using it. Right. But you know what real power is? 
doing whatever the hell you want. You basically do right now. No, I you, just, you hired the seeker. I gotta yeah. wear a mask and shit. I wanna wear a mask. I wanna take this mask off and just be like, I'm in charge. You could have half a mask if you join Hydra. <laughs> No, fuck that. I want my own organization. No, but look at this number. I earned this yeah, number. Yeah, I'm number seven. In Hydra, I'd be like number 532. That's true, yeah. You wouldn't even get a number in Hydra. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't afford 502 Hydra agents. But you can afford the Seekers. And I love the Seekers because they show up and they go, We're the Seekers. I'm Chain. I'm Sonic. And I'm Grass. Oh my and I'm like, God. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're doing their opening credits. Oh, they man. do. And by the way, they do that. I looked them up and I checked out other books where they're in. And when they do... Sometimes they identify themselves in every issue of the Seekers appear in, which is two. They go, I'm Chain, <laughs> I'm Sonic, and I'm Grass. That's so, so it's awesome. like back issues where every time we introduce ourselves. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Seekers. I'm Chain, <laughs> I'm Sonic, and I'm Grass. <laughs> <laughs> and we all have fun powers. And We're here to kick your ass. So they do. Uh, as Sonic, my power is just to get you more food. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can get more from you. More! <laughs> so Sonic hits Punisher with like an energy draining thing that fucks him up for the rest of the entire story arc. Nice. Uh, so Punisher gets hit with this energy sapping thing. They they fight the Seekers, the Seekers get away, and then the Secret <laughs> Empire gets into a rocket that's attached to their base and they shoot it away and they fly away. Oh, oh no, it God. bursts through the fake water tower. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> they also zap Moon Knight's moon copter thing for good Alvin? measure. Yeah, Alvin, so they can't get away. <laughs> it's a thing now. And they're all like, whoo, are we okay? Yeah, I think we're okay. And Punisher's like, I'm dying. And they're like, oh right, Frank, you don't have any superpowers. Why won't you take this off of me? <laughs> he goes, it's killing me. So then uh, Night Thrash is like, I'm gonna put you out of your misery. Punisher breaks, it, breaks out his knife what? gauntlet thing and like, what? And he cuts the thing. Ah, uh, like, oh, just kidding. <laughs> I put you out of your misery because you were miserable. Yeah, so I stopped the, the pain. I don't understand why everyone's I so saved upset. You. Yeah. yeah. I put out of his misery by destroying the thing that was hurting him. Exactly. <laughs> well, like, what, what, what did you think? It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> What's even happening? <laughs> with your weird RoboCop spike knife. Yeah, yeah. I can also interface with computers with this thing. <laughs> Shove, you just destroyed a $10,000 Cray computer. So, no, I interface no, no, with I'm it. interfacing. Yeah, great, what'd you learn? Uh, it's made of some kind of metal. <laughs> so then, uh, you know, um, what's his name drops I imagine, off. I imagine that Sonic thing. Yeah. You remember that uh, that arcade game that was like uh, the Adams Family, where Uncle yes. Fester you had to grab onto it and it would just oh, like, yes. Yes. vibrate. Yes, and it was like it simulated being electrified. Yeah, yeah. I imagine awesome. that's just that. Yeah, it's just like it's, it's just, just vibrating constantly. And you're <laughs> yeah, just his like, name's Sonic. This is really uncomfortable. Right, but once I stop, I'm like, oh, I actually feel a lot more less tense too. <laughs> so it's like a massage kind of. Yeah. Kinda nice. Midnight drops off Nova and the and the the, the Secret Empire are like, well done, even though we needed to spend a million dollars to hire the Seekers to pull your ass out of the fire, you fucking useless cyborg. Great, we have Nova for a half-baked scheme we're not even sure we're gonna use yet. Way to go, even though they did dispatch to do it. But like, everyone's a browbeaten asshole in this book. So he's like, hey, um, you guys blow, and like, I'm thinking that we should talk about me being in charge. And they're like, no. So, you don't even have a number. That's right. You have a name. How could you possibly be in charge? You're not even numbered. Right. First you have to get a number, yeah, then, then you we'll have talk. to work up through the ranks. So he talks about being uh, conveniently tracked by Spider-Man, so he's got to have a tracker. They check him out. I love that they put him through like a whole x-ray machine to identify the signal coming from his shoulder, which has a obvious spider <laughs> tracer on it. That's like I the mean, size of a quarter it's or a dollar. It's obvious only when we need it to be obvious. Yeah. yeah. So he takes it off, he's like, damn it! And he crushes it, and they're like, you Oh my Suck God. Midnight. Meanwhile, everybody's well, I don't know about the cyborg plan anymore. It is not working out too well for us We right made now. one cyborg and he's an idiot. He yeah. sucks. He's, mid he's <laughs> moving they're not, like, sidekick. They're not that aware. They're like, God, the cyborg sucks. Now, how do we get more of these cyborgs? <laughs> that's exactly what they're doing. No, that's not what they're doing. They're <laughs> that's recruiting what? other superheroes no, now. No, yeah, but they also want cyborgs. Cyborg. They're going to fucking... Know Wait, they, they want to turn Nova into well, a cyborg? They're going to like, they're going to check him out because like... Okay, yes, they want to turn him into Cyborg because uh, like number seven's like, oh my I, God. number seven's like I, the only thing I've ever brought to the table is the Cyborg thing. So it's, I'm this, I'm known as the Cyborg guy. Right. I have work to keep out, making Cyborgs. Yes. Didn't work out with Midnight too well because yeah, he but, sucks, but maybe if we got Nova, yes. he's an actual superhero, right. we made him a Cyborg. And what's great is when Then they, the Cyborg idea is not so terrible. They put him into like a machine to like check him out and like keep him in stasis and Thunderball is like, you might make him less useful if you make him into a cyborg. Like the thing that he naturally does. 
is, is more powerful than being a cyborg. <laughs> I'm like, what is this guy doing here? You are so much better than these people. He's like picking apart the plan, <laughs> the plan. that the writer created for this character. I'm like, like, why is your analog <laughs> avatar character in here? To be like, this book is stupid and I hate writing it. <laughs> like, maybe, it doesn't make any sense is all. Maybe, you, maybe the author really just has a soft spot for Thunderbolt. It's just like, I just want him to get redeemed a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah. He, he's the only one who knows does, what's going on. He does, because Thunderball also is like, these people are fucking stupid. So he builds himself a Thunderball costume that has his own Thunderball on it, because, okay, and his powers, like all the Wrecking Crew, were enchanted objects. So he's got to, like, you know, really ratchet it up if he's got to try to approximate enchantment powers. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's got his, like, he's got his Thunderball that he can throw and hit people with. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that suit will come into play later. So Punisher's freaking out because he's like having a fever dream yeah. about his origin. And they're like, oh, oh, that's why he's such an asshole. Poor guy. Oh, they didn't know? Yeah, some of them didn't know. Oh. Night Thrasher didn't. Oh, right. And what's great is then they all talk about their origins. You know, Moon Knight's like, oh, that poor guy. That's why he's such a, such a, such a relentless force of anti-crime. And Spider-Man's like, wow, like, I kind of get why he's acting like that. I mean, not completely because it's like, you know, he's a psycho murderer, but like I a little bit. I don't absolve it, but yeah. you know, I can see where he's coming and from. And Night Thrash was like, somebody killed my parents too when I was a kid, so I get it. And they're like, anyway, <laughs> we need to find Nova, please. <laughs> Could we so, move on? Two characters in this have a vested interest in getting this thing done. Moon Knight <laughs> is like, we got to save Midnight. Please, let's focus on saving Midnight. And Night Thrasher is like, I fucked up as a team leader and let Nova get snatched by Moon Knight's sidekick? <laughs> So we need to save Nova and hopefully wipe his mind from remembering this because this was an embarrassment. But <laughs> yeah, anyway, well, unfortunately, we'll never be able to wipe the reader's mind. No. And refund them their money. So uh, you can't wipe the reader's minds. You just put the book down. Well, <laughs> thankfully, it's collected in this essential edition, so you can keep reading it. So the but, issue where Spider-Man learns what Frank Castle's backstory is... Is this? ...is part three of six of Round Rob and the Sidekick's Revenge. Possibly. I feel like there's no way Spider-Man doesn't know Frank's origin before right. here. Because Spider, because Punisher was invented in a Spider-Man comic book. Right. But uh, again, this book sucks. So who cares? Yeah. Well, Spider-Man's bebop and scatting all over the place. He yeah. Know. I mean, he doesn't specifically yeah, say he didn't know that. No, but it, like reminded him. But, he's like, oh, yeah. Right. But he's like, well, I guess if you've been through what he's been, like, he's rationalizing yeah. it anew, having heard the story. What he's really doing is he's, he's justifying not trying to take down Punisher in this book. Right. Right. And instead, teaming up with him. Right. So, because last time he had an adventure with him, he was like very anti. No, oh, every time Spider-Man bump, bumps into Punisher, he yeah, tries he to stop. He doesn't believe in killing. Right. Yeah. But now he we, he's on the same team, so we need him to not have a problem with that. Right. Right now. So Thunderball's like, don't turn Nova into a cyborg. It might blow. Like the last guy you turned into a cyborg, he had like pieces blown off of him and stuff. <laughs> you needed to turn him into a cyborg right. so that he would be functional. This guy is fine. He didn't even. What lose... are the cyborg parts? Cyborg parts gonna be? I, 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 you well, gonna take off his jaw and put it a cyborg jaw? I in? mean, that's what we to, did with him. Why? Well, what, that, <laughs> his jaw's like fine. They did with his entire skull. They this did. is very unethical. What you're talking oh, about? Oh yeah, here. no, I agree. But like the main thing, it's actually less ethical, is because. <laughs> The reason why they're doing it probably is for the same reason that they can control Jeff Wilde, which is they have like a pain circuit in his spine. Mm. So that if he gets out of line, we just push this button and he goes through horrible, intense pain. So he like will listen to us and do what we want. Oh, okay. So Oh, so he doesn't want to be there. He he may he does now, because now he wants to rule the Secret Empire, but like but he probably didn't in the beginning. Right. And then he like adapted to it. Yeah. Because they have fucked him up. He's traumatized. Totally. So well, well then, okay, that's no problem. Then you don't even want a cyborg. Right. You want to implant this pain chip into, into Nova. Nova's spine. Yeah. That that's no problem. Except that won't fuck easy. him up. But like the Nova cyborg just thing though. Like Nova could leave and go to the Four Freedoms Plaza or the Avengers Mansion. Nova be like, so much I've got pain, a thing in my leave. back. Please he'll start to me. leave and we'll activate it. He'll that's, fall out of the sky. Yeah, it's that's like a proximity true. sensor. Yeah. So or something. Also, how can Midnight uh, enunciate if he doesn't have lips? It doesn't matter because he doesn't actually talk. Yeah, he has no vocal cords. It's a, it's a, yeah. Yeah, it's a computer. It's a robotic computer. Exactly. Yeah, he sounds like a robot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, Jeff is like, why are we even making cyborgs? You got the number one cyborg right here. I'm the best one. And they're like, oh, okay, well, that's not a good case for not making more cyborgs. <laughs> Look, if we were going to number you a cyborg in, in relation to our organization, you'd be like 22. <laughs> yes. So they, uh, they, 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 they give him some more, uh, they're, they're working on him because his arm got broke in one of his last battles. They're, re they're repairing him. Just uh. scrap him. No. 
He doesn't work out. They won't. But uh, they're so you know Thunderball's doing some uh, some new enhancements to to Midnight on the on the operating table. Yeah. Uh, they're not using anesthesia because why? Oh. Why bother? Why? He's just a cyborg. Yeah. I saw Lynn yell, "You technician!" I didn't realize she was being like, "You technician, come That's over it. and help me." Yeah. You technician. You technician. Yeah. No. She is saying, "You technician." There. Lynn is in the operating room. She feigns horror in the treatment of Wild, who might be like a romantic partner. It, it's 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 subtle, but useless. Who cares? He's got a great set of teeth. Right. Yeah. And the lever break. <laughs> But, uh, you know, she's like, oh, I can't watch. And he's like, Lynn, please don't leave me here. And she's like, I can't watch. So she leaves. And she's like, hey, technician, are you going to be doing more shit to, to midnight with that machine there? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, well, hey, listen, I need you to install a little device for me. And he's like, what are you, freaking stupid? Like, you're, you're a kidnap victim. You, you don't work here. I can do that. <laughs> and she's like, oh, yeah? And she, like, looks him in the face. And he goes, your face! Ah! Uh, okay, I'll do anything you say. And she's like, here you go, put it in. He's like, you got it. What What was that all about? What was that all about, indeed. Oh. So, what the hell? Uh, Punisher wakes up, the team bickers. Uh, they finish the enhancements for midnight. Uh, Nova is hooked up to a bunch of complicated looking machinery that keeps him in stasis and analyzes his powers. Nova has in his helmet a transmitter that connects to the new warriors. And uh, they, the, the Secret Empire in their new base, in all their bases, but in this one in particular, because they're here, uh, has a signal jammer that interrupts any non-sanctioned communications. But for some reason- Are they checking my Wi-Fi? Right. The, the signal jammer has been turned off. <gasps> oh no. So they, they rectify that problem, but- It's too little, late. It's too little too late because uh, Night Thrasher has already picked up the signal in the moon copter with the team. Oh boy. And so, uh... Step on it, Frenchie. The moon copter, it's clearly a plane. I know. I, I like calling it the moon copter, because I'm not going to call it the moon plane. Because that doesn't make any sense. Moon copter's a real thing. I don't know what the hell they call this thing. Alvin. Alvin. <laughs> so, uh, Thunderball's like, okay, it was on, we've been made. There's like at least five fucking superheroes looking for this guy. Yeah, let's we're get done, we gotta, we gotta leave. Yeah. And they're like, uh, no, we're not leaving. We, okay, no. How are we? The Secret <laughs> no, Empire is no, it's not over. They're like, we spent so much money on this facility. There's no way we could just abandon it. Maybe we could just like lure them here and then kill everyone who shows up. And right. he's like, no. No, Spider-Man is with them. The, yes. Th it's not going to happen. That's it. He's like, we got to go. This dude should be running the Secret Empire. <laughs> Except he would be offered the position to go get fucked and leave. Right. No. <laughs> I'm out. He's yeah. amazing. I will go like... back to prison before I leave <laughs> yeah, this cause, team. Cause Throughout the book, every time you cut to the Secret Empire and they're in their robes talking to each other, at some point or another, Seven's like, we should probably be talking about who number one's going to be. Obviously, I nominate myself because I had the cyborg plan. And number three is like, why should you be number one? Like, I'm closer to one than, than you. And he's like, yeah, but you haven't brought anything to the table anytime in like three. One plan, one plan you had. For yeah. one plan, you get one to be number one? One out of one? zero. By the way, your cyborg plan sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's blowing up in our face. We lost two bases already. The heroes spring into action. They, they, they infiltrate the base. Right. They kick the shit out of some, some peons. Nice. They say really stupid things. Spider-Man says, I'm more worried about Lamont Cranston over there. You know, the shadow. Because there's a shadow being cast in the core. I'm like, the, what? So Lynn goes <laughs> and checks on Midnight. She's like, hey, Spider-Man's here. Everybody's, everybody's kicking ass. Why, why did Midnight We're, suddenly have like a hole for his hair? Well, because because that's that's a thing they do. If, ever, ever, if you have long hair, you're way cooler in a superhero comic in the '90s. Yeah. So we got to show it off. Yeah. There there was hair in some previous issues. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, but like there's a lot more hair. It wasn't as apparent. It's very apparent right now the way yeah. it's drawn. Yeah. You could say he's the hair apparent. Uh, I don't want to be here. Yeah. <laughs> the the writer of this book though is <laughs> absolute garbage. <laughs> So Lynn goes to midnight and she's like, "Hey, listen, like Spider-Man and the team are here. We're all lose. We're all gonna lose. <laughs> but I had a device installed in you while you were unconscious. That, what? That had, That's deeply unethical. No, I did not is, consent to that. No, it's it, it, it that turns off your pain inducer. Oh. Couldn't you just take the pain inducer out? Yeah. No. Well, she says she, they. It's too hard. I had to put she, another. She put a new thing, thing in there, you. but also like she says it was I sabotaged it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, if I took it out, it would like kill you. I had to. All I could do was add Scratch more shit spine. to you. Yeah. It's on your spine. I took it out. You'd be paralyzed from the waist yeah. down. Yeah. You can't be uncyborg eyes. Yeah. You can only be more cyborg. You can only eyes. get more. Cyborgs. I can only make you a better cyborg. Yeah. You'll always be a cyborg. You'll never not. 
So anyway, uh, he's like, that's great. Like, I, I, can, I can kick ass. I, I can become the number one of the Secret Empire. She's like, yeah, 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 go ahead. But kick the crap out of the, of the superheroes first. So <laughs> defend me. The, the heroes are, uh, are, are defeating more peons. Um, Jeff goes to the, 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 new, the Roman numeral team, the, the inner sanctum. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, hey, what do you want? And they're like, hey, you need to go stop these heroes from doing. He goes, nah, <laughs> I'll do it, but I, I'll do it if I'm in charge. And number seven's like, don't forget, I'll push this button. He's like, go ahead. So mm -hmm. push the button, he's like, oh no, it's not working. <laughs> and then he, he, he smashes his hand and then smashes his head into the wall and kills him. Nice. He's like, okay, seven's dead. And he's the only one who has ideas here. So <laughs> I'm in charge now, I'm number one. And I'll go, I'll go fight those heroes for you, but only if you guys acquiesce and make me number one. So then he goes and he fights the heroes. He doesn't get confirmation that he's going to be number one. Right. But he's pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're gonna make me number one. Mm -hmm. now. So After he, that just display of power. Yeah. yeah. So he fights the heroes. He 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 shows off some cool modifications he has, like his arm can telescope or oh, stretch. That and was then, the thing they were doing to him. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So Spider Man punches him in like a weak point of the outstretched arm and it just de it just de demolishes his arm. <laughs> and so he's like, Oh, oh shit. Oh, that was my so, newest gadget. Yeah, so he flies away and uh, they seal the doors behind them and everybody leaves. They abandon their other billion dollar base and go to the next billion dollar base, which is in Queens. It's okay, we have a ton of these. They have a ton of these, and I'm like, what? Can you imagine like Hydra or AIM being like, this is gonna be a great base, and some couple of fucking hooded dudes with Roman numeral, hey, get the fuck out of here, this is the Secret Empire's base. <laughs> I think Another we'll stay. <laughs> I think we'll stay. Oh, no, okay. no. We spent so much money, we own the deed. Okay. This deed right here? <laughs> Hydra. Hydra. Sorry, looks like you don't. Looks like you don't. Now get the fuck out of here before I give you a wedgie. <laughs> so they leave to their secret empire base in Queens, which is conveniently disguised as an abandoned warehouse. Hmm, that's a good idea. So they all go back to the moon plane, uh, but Punisher's gone, and they're like, ah oh, shit, Punisher's gone, what? What? So I love, okay. like, in the next issue, because all the issues have, like, have names, like they have titles. You know, like, uh, like, like this chapter here. Part, this one's part called three. Roll Call. Yeah, Roll Call or Total Eclipse of the Moon Knight. Uh, this one I love. It's called A Bagel with Nova. A Bagel with Nova? Yep. Yeah, and some, and some schmutz. Schmear. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call it a bagel because he gets a bagel, by the way. It's because, because they keep losing. Right, it's a zero. It's a zero. Zero, zip, nada, a bagel. In this case, a bagel with Nova. And I'm like... What is happening? <laughs> yeah, but it's a really good bagel. Hell, they give you six issues of Spider-Man, and what have you done? Ugh. Also, uh, you've taken over like three bases right now. Yeah. You are on You're fire. Winning. Yeah, you are dismantling this organization. Yeah. Shun Tzu would have a lot of fucking respect for you. You you gave your quarry no ground to go to. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't get Nova back. No, we didn't. No. And we lost Punisher, but that's kind of okay. Yeah, but that's what, what Punisher, you want anyway. You're Spider-Man. What did Punisher do? He infiltrated the secret empire. He oh. killed number three, put on his robes, and now he's in there. Ha! Nice. Yeah, while well, number three was on a smoke break or something. Yeah. He was he was watching a door. Yep, there you go. That's why it was three. one of the leaders. You're number three and you're watching a door. <gasps> Maybe. Man, was, just I mean, ever since number one got defeated, we're just all over the place. Yeah, like, that's I, right. I just, I, I, Everyone I don't know what to pitching. do. <laughs> yeah. Well, especially because Spider-Man and the gang have beaten the shit out of dozens of Secret Empire folks, and they don't have the hundreds that Hydra or AIM have. Right. Well, no, number four, I know normally you're in charge of communications. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the toilet in the men's room is really backed up. <laughs> uh, but I'm number uh, three. Pitch in. <laughs> All right. All right. So, this is great. Like, I love the... the you know, Punisher's gone. They're all like beating themselves up over Punisher leaving. Uh, Punisher is still like completely tapped from that fucking Seeker thing on his chest. Uh -huh. Oh, the so he, Sonic uh, that thing. Yeah, the spider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 yeah. The Sonic boom. Oh yeah, that's Sonic's. I'm sorry. Yeah, this one of the Seekers. That is to say, Sonic's uh, attachment. Anyway, Punisher like you know he 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 does a couple things as number three, and then he goes into a broom closet and just passes out. <laughs> Uh, I love these these three. It's Moon Knight he's not drinking. <laughs> I assume yeah. Frank at the end of the night just like oh yeah, just the downs day wild turkey. No yeah, question. Yeah, it's his spinach. So uh, <laughs> Spider Man, Moon Knight, and Night Thrasher just talking and arguing with each other about how like crappy they are. Moon Knight's like oh my god, Midnight, poor guy, he was my sidekick. And Night Thrasher's like I am so sick of hearing about Midnight. 
Midnight's he, evil. Midnight had his shot. He's an evil <laughs> cyborg. Nova's a good guy. We gotta go save Nova. Spider-Man's like, guys, guys, we can do both. Yes. Yeah. Guys, guys! Yeah. I haven't spoken to my wife in days. <laughs> that's, that's what happens. Spider-Man goes, hey, we're not getting anywhere. Why don't we all go back to our respective places and, and we'll bang just- bang our wives. And bang our wives, and that's what they do. <laughs> Except for Night Thrasher. Thrasher. Night Thrasher, Thrasher, you could like choke yourself and masturbate in the room closet. <laughs> Spider-Man goes home, Mary Jane's asleep. He ditched her, like she made dinner. And he's mm. like, I gotta go. I gotta his, go do Spider-Man shit. Spider Tracer went off. Right. It's, it's, that's how they- Met up with each other. Yeah, that's how Spider-Man found, the previous found adventure. Midnight. Yeah. Peter. Peter, it's time to watch another one of my episodes of Secret Hospital. My spider tracer went off! I gotta go! I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. So Mary Jane is asleep after having made him dinner. And then he's like, hey, wake up. Let's hey. fuck. <laughs> and they do. Yeah. If, well, if that if, didn't deserve a slap across the face, I don't know what does. I mean, I if you want to, it's gonna have to be on my time because I gotta be Spider-Man. Yeah. So, yeah. sorry. So uh, meanwhile, Mark Spector as Moon Knight, you know, he, Praise to his imaginary bullshit space god, and uh, and Marlene, his wife, shows up, and she's like, "Hey, you haven't been here in a while." He's like, "Yeah, listen, like, let's bang." He has a wife. Yeah, we yeah. talked. We talked about his wife in the Moon Knight episode, but it's like, uh, in that issue, they're divorced. Yeah, like, I can say they they were estranged yeah, or whatever. Divorced makes sense. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. they're not yet. No, Marlene was like a mercenary. Like she's down. But anyway, <laughs> uh, so they bang. Meanwhile, uh, Night Thrasher is just like at the New Warriors base, just. Punch and wood. <laughs> is that, Which is, is a new that term for masturbating? I mean, he might as well be, but he's literally doing that on the page. So Silhouette shows up and she's like, hey, don't feel bad about losing Nova. That happens every other week. And he's like, it's cool, but I'm like a leader though. Like, I'm a failure. It doesn't get paid off, it doesn't matter. So he and Silhouette do not bang? I, I, I assume no. Huh. I hope not. Silhouette's way too good for Night Thrasher. Jeff gets a new arm. He like just yells at everybody. He's like, okay, uh, uh, Thunderball, you're gonna build me a new arm. You put it on. I'm still in charge, everybody. And they're all like, oh my God, this Man, guy. Spider-Man keeps him kicking your ass. What? And kill him. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Midnight, are you aware of the sunk cost fallacy? <laughs> also, the only one who is championing your whole existence, you killed. So like, you got no friends yeah. in the Secret Empire right now. How about now. we don't put your fucking arm on? How about that? How about we take your other arm off? <laughs> and use it, and put it on somebody who can actually it is, use it effectively. Yeah. His eyes, yeah. his lips. They're coming off. Nose. Coming off. So, yeah. He goes, all right, so I got my new arm. I'm dope. I, I'm great. Let's have this meeting about me being number one. Lynn, you gonna come to the meeting? Because I know you're, like, you, you think I'm hot or something. I don't know. And she's like, nah, I'm a little busy. So she, she leaves. And uh, number three which is to say Punisher in disguise, goes to visit Nova. Oh, he finally gets out of the broom closet. Yeah. yeah. He wakes up and he's like, okay. He wakes up from his nap. That's right. So he goes to Nova's uh, cell or the lab that he's being held in and he's there and they're like, what are you doing here? And he's like, oh, I got to check on the prisoner. And they're like, okay. I'm like, why even bother with the pretense? So, yeah. Well, he's number three. Yeah, that's true. I'm number three. I, I go where I please. Right. That's what he should have said. So Punisher's like, hey man, listen, I'm the Punisher. He doesn't even say I'm the Punisher. He's like, hey man, listen, like, I need, we, like, they got some dampeners or something like that. Like, I need you to, like, cause a stir. He's like, I got this shit. It's, it's fucking me up. He's like, okay, well, I'm gonna break it. You go nuts and Nova out, and then that'll call the cavalry. And he's like, okay. So, uh, Frank breaks the machine, you know, quietly. Yeah. Nova's yeah. like, thanks a lot, man. He's like, okay, cool. I'll get a message out when you, like, break the machines and destroy the, like, signal dampeners that this new base definitely still has. And, uh, where, where are they? Where do I go? Oh, it's, it, uh, it's somewhere. It's against a panel that's literally in the same room. Oh, just, just okay. break whatever. Oh. And uh, so Could he does. Frank just do that too? No, this this guy's in here. And yeah. I want to keep the my, my subterfuge going. Yeah. So it's easy for him to disable the restraints. It'd be very much harder, I guess, for him to, to surreptitiously destroy the yes. signal thing. So Frank, uh, he leaves and Frank, he goes. Frank, how many people are in this room? I see two scientists. Yeah. You can't kill two scientists. Yeah, just kill them he's and destroy it. He's not, he's not at full strength. And remember, they, well, he's just a guy. He, uh, he can't give away that strength. he has, yeah. uh, you know, that he's undercover. That's he right. He needs Nova to do it, so he can be like, oh no, Nova's going out. Exactly I'm number doing. three, I'm yep. not He lets a bad Nova guy. out at that point, and then he's just like, then oh no. Then he and Nova should team up and beat the Secret Empire, because anybody Nova could. got loose yeah. and must have killed these two scientists. Oh, it's not that hard to figure out. <laughs> right, so Nova gets free. And he, uh, he, he smashes the, the grid that has the signal dampener on it. Right. Meanwhile, um, the alarm goes off, you know, because the scientist's like, oh no, Nova's free, hit the alarms. They do. Midnight's like, what the fuck's that? And then Punisher meets up with the inner circle and he goes, 
Ah, you fuck everything up, Midnight. You're the worst. Earlier, number three was like, Midnight should be in charge. He's a great guy. He knows what's up. Yeah, Midnight should be in charge. <laughs> then in this one, he's just like, yeah, you fuck up. We took, you know, everything's gone wrong since you fucking took That's charge. That's fucking amazing. Let's rush him. And then they're all like, yeah. And then he just lets them all jump on Midnight. He doesn't even have a number. <laughs> so they all do. And fucking Thunderball That's goes. Awesome. It's all falling apart. Yep. That's my cue to Skidoo. <laughs> so uh, he uses his fucking advantage to build himself a Thunderball suit, which he'll use later. Uh, meanwhile, fucking uh, Midnight beat all the guys because they're just dudes in robes. Yep. And then he goes and attacks number three because number three, of course, is like, <laughs> and just lets it all happen. He's like, oh, okay, it's me, it's the Punisher, haha. -ha. And then he leaves. And then uh, Night Thrasher's like, I got the signal, it's time to go. And so he calls Moon Knight. Moon Knight calls Spider Man the communicator. Spider Man is just finished fucking Mary Jane. <laughs> and he's like, all right, man, I gotta go. Oh, perfect then, timing. Perfect timing. And then Mary Jane goes, oh, not more Spidey action so soon. He goes, you weren't complaining about the Spidey action you got just a few minutes ago. And she's <laughs> like, if you finish that thought, you're sleeping on the couch. <laughs> and I'm like, that's the line? And then to drive it home, Moon Knight goes, hmm. I have to remind Spider-Man to be sure to turn off his communicator. <laughs> <laughs> like, especially when he's fucking Mary Jane because yeah. he sold that shit to the internet. Especially when he's like, giving away his secret time. identity. Yeah. <laughs> no, because she called him no more, not more Spidey action. She doesn't call him by Peter. Yeah, okay, but like... Yeah, but like she were definitely screaming Peter a couple of seconds ago. So. <laughs> well, also like her voice is on there, so like... Yeah, but I don't know who that is. It's just Lady. I don't know. Mm. Uh, except she's a fucking celebrity, so you definitely know. <laughs> Holy shit, he's, he's banging the... Uh, the nurse, the, yeah. yeah, from Secret Hospital. I, I guess he wouldn't he know that they're married, though. Yeah. He would well, she, probably no, her that surname oh, no, is, she, she goes by Mary Everyone Jane Watson Parker. Yeah, well. Spider-Man is cucking whoever Mary Jane's <laughs> husband is. Oh my God, the guy who takes pictures of him. I gotta warn Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be an amazing story. Oh my I would God. love to read that. Mark Spector like goes to Peter Parker, you know, he's like it's outside like, the bugle. Peter. Peter, listen, you gotta, let me get you, you a cup of coffee. You might wanna sit down, yeah. Your wife's cheating on you. What? Yeah. Oh my God! With Spider-Man. Oh no! <laughs> and I know this has got to hurt doubly bad because you take pictures of Spider-Man. Yeah, no, you, it's super you, fucked up. I think up. you know him personally. <laughs> yeah, that's totally fucked up. Listen, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I'm Moon Knight. I'm gonna go kick his ass for you. <laughs> no, that's okay. No, no, you really no. Don't. I owe, I owe you, man. I, I thought Spider-Man was my friend. I thought he was a good guy, but no. No, anyone who but, defies the sanctity of marriage like that is right. no friend He's of no mine. He's no friend of mine. Gee, man, you really don't have to do that. It's really no, totally cool. No, I insist. <sighs> I insist. Well, all right. I mean, he's probably just going to kick your ass anyway. <laughs> uh, you know what? You, you've never seen me in action. Okay? Uh, you are mild manner Peter Parker. You don't know me personally. I have I just, the moon. I just, I've been taking yeah. pictures of him for a long time. He's pretty tough. I don't know. He's pretty tough. I don't know. But you know what? You know what? Try it. See Let's what see happens. It. Let's see I what happens. I would appreciate it. Tell me, tell me, what are you gonna throw at him first? I just want to know. You know, <laughs> yeah. As a is it gonna be one of those crescent-shaped moon daggers, or is it gonna be one of those like you gonna come in with like a flying kick? Uh, a flying kick? Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, I, I figure I'll catch him by surprise. Oh yeah, that's gonna work really well. <laughs> yeah, you were. There's all these spider sense or anything. You, you, you know who this guy is. So Chris Powell <laughs> looks up in the sky conveniently and he sees the moon play and he's like, well. Time for Darkhawk to be in this fucking book. What? So hey, he, they never called me. Yeah. Time to be Darkhawk. Yep, so he Darkhawks out, and then he goes to, he follows the plane. Darkhawk's flying, Spider-Man's slinging, and Mike Thrasher's driving a cool motorcycle. Meanwhile, Nova and Punisher are tearing shit up, being being attacked by by Midnight. Right. And all of the, like, And all Midnight the, now also has goons. lasers coming out of his fists. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he got upgrades to his arms. He did. Uh, so, uh, by the time all the other heroes get there, uh, Nova and Punisher have cleaned up the base, right? Because they these should. guys all suck. No, uh, <sighs> they, 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 they're getting their butts kicked because Punisher's at half capacity. So is Nova, he's still weak and uh, groggy from all of that, uh, okay. all of those readings or whatever the hell they were doing to him. Yeah, yeah it really saps out his whatever power. Yeah. yeah. So then Spider-Man shows up and then Moon Knight and Night Thrasher also show up and now, now it's a party. Now it's a party. And then, yep. just as, they're, they're, I love they're talking about, like, Spider-Man takes out, or he's, he's taking down Midnight because Midnight has superpowers. And the rest of the team is taking down all of the goons. Is, yeah. is Moon Knight being like, no, d take it easy on him. No. Uh, no, he's, no, he's not. No, he's like, fuck him. Oh, yeah. Look at all these friggin' goons. It's just like, I know, it's just, it's, it's non just dozens goons. of them. And then they have the audacity to say out loud, I think we're making a dent in these goons. Like, we're about to win. Oh, there can't no. possibly be one more issue of this book left. And that's when Thunderball shows up and he's like, I'm here too. And I'm gonna fight you. And then he's about to hit 
Nova with a Thunderball, and then Darkhawk shows up and he catches it. And he's like, I'm in the book too. Now the party can get started. Ugh. And it's a big silly slap fight. Then Moon Knight attacks Midnight. Right. He's this like, is the fight we've been waiting he's for. Like, this is it! And then, as Moon Knight is about to hit Midnight across the face with a baton, Ooh. He's, his wrist is grabbed by Lynn, the nurse, and oh. she throws him across the room. Oh, and she takes off her glasses, she, finally! She does take off her glasses. and Now like, she's hot! And they're like, uh-oh, and she takes off her, her, her robe, her, her lab coat, and uh, I love Spider-Man goes, I don't like the looks of this, and she says, why Spider-Man, how unflattering. Most people like my looks, especially when I took off my glasses! <laughs> so Spider-Man's like, well, you've made a matching Ms. Midnight costume. What's your next move? And she says, it's quite simple. We're gonna kill you. She's a cyborg too. She's a cyborg? She is a cyborg. Was she always a cyborg? Yeah. She's been a cyborg the whole time. Did they know she was a cyborg? N well, here's the thing. Where'd so she come they from? They retcon it. Al Milgram retcons that three issue story. What? We'll get her origin in this dope ass gatefold cover. Oh, how cool. Who do we got? We got everybody, we got all everyone. the players. Darkhawk, Moon Knight, Spider-Man, Punisher, Nova, and Night Thrasher. Yep, and against a white background. Yep, because I'm not drawing more than I have to. I'm Mark Bagley. I'm drawing the interiors, too. And no. Yeah, you know but don't funny? the characters look dope? That's the thing. For me, Like I remember like seeing this elsewhere and really enjoying the fact that it was a stark white background. Yeah. Like I, 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 they, they pop more, mm -hmm. but it is incredibly lazy. And yeah. I'm sure that Mark Bagley would be ashamed of this <laughs> cover by now. So uh, we find out that she was... Not kidnapped. It was fake. It was a cover story. And uh, oh. she was the prototype. She was the first cyborg. Oh. Well, how come she's not all like metal looking? Well, because oh, they didn't... didn't rip her face off yet. <laughs> well, she wasn't in like an explosion or whatever. Yes. She was a more deliberately constructed cyborg. Yes, that's right. He was like haphazardly made in a panic. Yeah, he was desperately <laughs> made into a cyborg. And she administered her cyborgian expertise on making him into a cyborg. And the thing on her face that she showed people that made them go, what? Uh, was a projection of the logo of the Secret Empire. Like, who gives a shit? What? So, so, like, that means anything? Like, that means so anything. So, did, did the numbered people know that she was a cyborg, pretending to be a lab technician? Yes. Well, at least one of them did. Okay. Yeah, number seven. Yeah. Uh, okay. The cyborg guy. Uh, okay. And then he died. <laughs> yes. So now she's doing her cyborg thing. You know, she now she's a new now she's yeah. a new cool super. Now villain. she's entered the fight. Yeah, so Lynn, Ms. Midnight, and Midnight are now fighting the, uh, the the heroes. Okay, well they're still drastically outnumbered by the heroes. Well, I mean you got you got Thunderball, you got Midnight, Ms. Midnight. She's pretty twilight. And, I agree. And goon and, and faceless goons. goons who are you and know, an paper unending people. sea of goons. Yeah. But Against and, Spider Man, yes. Punisher, Night Thrasher, Boon Knight, and Darkhawk. Yes, but then the Seekers come back. Oh, the Seekers? Oh God. And who are they? Don't forget about us. Guess you missed out the last time we gave your pals a whipping. We're the Seekers. <sighs> Chain, Grasp, and Sonic. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That's... The Seekers? Yeah. Well, Because they, they, they seek people? Yeah. yeah. They like seek you out and then they... Sh yeah, they're mercs. They're Iron Man villains, obviously. Look at their outfits. So, uh... Midnight has has cold technology now, and he blasts Spider-Man, but Spider-Man moves and it oh, hits. Oh, the cold technology they used to freeze the tank? The tank. Yes. Yeah, the tank hey, freeze see? gun. They brought it back. This is brilliant. So, <laughs> that was Chekhov's freeze ray. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so Sonic gets hit by this freeze ray, and uh, Punisher's like, I'm gonna stab you with this knife. <laughs> and Sonic's like, oh no. And then, because this is a Spider-Man book, he flips the knife over and he taps Sonic's suit and it shatters. Uh, and then Punisher just punches him in the face. All right. Well, that, thank God that's everything would do. except his nope. boxers. Yep. Uh, God uh, forbid someone's naked. Yep. Uh, chain tries to choke out Night Thrasher with his chain. Yeah. And uh, Moon Knight grabs Seeker's or Sonic's discarded Sonic life dampening energy sapping thing that went on Oh yeah. Punisher. Yeah, the Sonic like Bolo or yeah, something. and put that on Chain, and oh. that sapped the energy of his suit. So now Chain's down for the count, and uh, so Midnight's thrilled because like the, the the nurse that he had a crush on, 
who worked with him is also a cyborg. Yeah. And so Which like means they can have cyborg babies, right? That's yeah. how that works. Yeah. Well, they can have cyborg sex. Yeah. As is the they can at least do that. <laughs> you know, like cuz it's the 90s. <laughs> so Midnight goes and fights Moon Knight and he's just like, "You didn't rescue me, you asshole." Like we're like we're still not over this. Right. And uh, they all When you act like this, can you blame me? Yeah. Right. I saw what was going to happen. Yeah. I saw your future. So they all fight. Spider-Man webs Twilight's face, Mid Ms. Midnight's, <laughs> Midnight's face. She pulls her own Miss Knight. Miss Knight. Hey. Oh. Uh, he he pulls. She pulls her own face off, ripping the webbing off. What? And Midnight is like, ew, ew. <laughs> what do you think you are? <laughs> you're a gross metal lady underneath. Ew. Yeah. He goes, your face. And she's like, what's wrong with my face? I want to be a cyborg. I love this. This is better than my previous face. <laughs> now you see me as I truly am. <laughs> yes. And he goes. Well, why did they make your face so gross and horrible? She's like, it's no more gross and horrible than your face. And he's like, yeah, but I had to do this. My face is like burned. <laughs> you elected to be gross looking? I don't know if I could do this. <laughs> oh my God. Oh I, man. I don't know if I could even. It was, it was right. one thing if I thought you were gonna be at least hot looking when we had cyber sex. Yes. Yeah. But not now. But I, your face is gross. I don't have to be good looking. Well, you think I want to have sex with a gross face, but you don't want to? I thought it was like a Florence Nightingale coming. <sighs> yeah, so like she's you like, just fell in love with me because of my flaws. Yeah. But, but okay. I fell in love with you because you're hot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but he's a cyborg because he still has like fleshy parts, but like she's just a robot then. Yes, but she has a, well, she has a human brain. In yeah, oh. that still makes her a cyborg. Okay. Yeah. So he's like, I don't, I'm, I'm gonna go. And she's like, you're an idiot and I'm gonna kill you. And he's like, how? I'm awesome. And she's like, because of this. And he's like, but you removed that. You removed the pain device. He's like, you fucking moron. <laughs> and then just pushes it. He's like, ah, the pain. Uh, yeah, I just, I just, I just overrode it with my pain device. Yeah. I, yeah. I feel like at this point, the superheroes are just bad. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, <laughs> it's well, great. So then Thunderball's it's like. lover's quarrel. I don't want to get involved in. <laughs> Thunderball for no reason is like, I'm going to get involved. And then he attacks her. He picks a side. He picks Midnight. Yeah. Well, he goes, if, 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 any one of these two could take over the Secret Empire, then I could easily take over the Secret Empire. Right. I just have to beat them both. You know, she's the stronger one. Let me punch her first. Yes. And well, then she Midnight will help me take her down, and then I'll easily defeat Midnight. <laughs> That's right. So then immediately <laughs> he is attacked by her, and Midnight's like, this blows. So then he starts shooting the support beams of the building. Oh. He's like, I'm going to kill myself and everyone around me. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Everyone's dying. I'm controlling this entire blame, fucking blame. situation. <laughs> so. That's not a bad plan at this point. Spider Man yeah. Spider Sense goes, like, What are you doing? And so uh, she's like, Knock it off. And he's like, Fuck this. I'm tearing this place down. You suck. <laughs> so. Yep. Uh, Life sucks. Everything sucks. Yep. I'm, I'm burning it all down. I'm going to burn it all down. And so they, <laughs> they, they, they try to grab as many people as they can <laughs> and escape. Some of them go, like, There were a lot more people in there. <laughs> than the ones we're carrying, and some and someone just offhandedly goes, I'm sure they just got up and escaped before. <laughs> yeah. We gave them enough warning, it's fine. Yeah, that's what legs are for. But we These guys can't walk right now, we gotta rescue them. Yep. Plus they have names. Yeah, and <laughs> Spider-Man is so, he's, he's always sad that they lose someone. He's always like, but we kill, when Carnage <laughs> is thought to die, he thinks that it's a failure. It's like, but I didn't save Carnage. But I didn't save that mindless serial killer. But, yeah. when, but when Darkhawk says, what about the two cyborgs and Thunderball, Spider-Man says, the Borgs were locked in a death grip. And as for T-Ball, he must have bought it too. <laughs> and I'm like, not Thunderball. Sucks for him. Fuck you. <laughs> he was the best among you. Yeah, yeah, he's the only one who had half a brain. Yep. So He then, must have bought it too. And then while they're all talking to each other, Night Thrasher goes, hey Punisher. I know you're a major criminal, so like the cops are coming. You better get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and Punisher's like, "Yeah, I better get the fuck out of here." Next time, T man. See you later. And then, <laughs> and then they fist bump. <laughs> oh my god. And then uh, nice. and Spider Man goes, "Hey, sorry about midnight, Mooney." And he goes, "Thanks." It's not like that. We're, we were even that close. <laughs> uh, I never really liked him anyway. To be with. <laughs> yes. Midnight's like climbing out of the rubble. He's like. Oh, I wish <laughs> there is a moment where a character climbs out of the rubble, but it is not midnight. Uh, it is Thunderball. Oh, yeah, of God. course it's it like my stupid suit kept me alive. I surrender. Yeah. And they're like, and Spider-Man goes, suits me, I'm bushed. And I'm like, that's the most Spider-Man line in the entire book. <laughs> and he goes, I'm I, I'm thinking those two robots are dead. See? And he throws their arms 
They each like links. Linked like they were crabs in a bucket. <laughs> Yeah. This is very specific reference. And then Moon Knight's like, if only Jeff didn't go bad. If only Jeff hadn't lost, maybe he wouldn't be dead right now. Like, not you failing. <laughs> yep. Yep. That well, is not my fault. my fault. And Spider-Man's like, it's fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The psychic's revenge. Spider-Man looks on the bright side, though. At least we took down the secret empire. And well, and they then they did. Well, like, at least I got laid before I came home. Yeah, yeah. Also that. Well, and we better get that. I better get home before Michelini shows back up and creates marital strife for me. <laughs> Maybe get a round two in for Mary Jane. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah, it's only been like an hour. I yeah. think she's probably still awake. Yeah. It's or just like, like a little bit of sleep. Action. Yeah, more spider. Action. And I'm ready and to go <laughs> now. So <laughs> Moon Knight's like, well, make sure to turn your fucking Avengers card off before you do it. <laughs> what? Uh, well, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Uh, I think you know what that means. I think you know exactly what that means. Oh. Tiger. <gasps> and now Moon Knight's gotta die. <laughs> Is Spider-Man gonna have to kill a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you said you pressed a conch, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that. Uh, it. Wow. It's the worst oh, Spider-Man I've ever crazy. <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> it's barely a Spider-Man bug. It's not. It's a, it's a it, it, this is a famous a, ball of other characters like going like, it's hey. It's a team that never existed. And, and, and should never by any rights exist. At least they didn't give themselves a name. Thank God. The well, Unsellable Five plus Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. Let us know in the comments down below what your pitch is for this cadre of superheroes that will never be back together again. Never, ever. If you'd like more from this collection, please watch this episode a lot because... Uh, <laughs> it's the only way. It's the only way I'll ever do more because there's another one here where Spider-Man teams up with another unlikely team of superheroes who are way more sellable oh. than the characters that we see in this. Uh, but I promise you the story is infinitely more boring. <laughs> Despite, in spite of how many way not boring characters are in it. Mm. Really? Yes. <laughs> and there you have it. Uh, if you if you want this, it's in the comments down below, or it's not, because Marvel is notorious about not getting things back into print. But it's available out there if you want to check it out for yourself. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time with another episode of Back Issues. I'm Chain. I'm Grasp. And I'm Sonic. See you next week. S for Seekers. <laughs> Guys, we rehearsed this! I, we did not! I, what? <laughs> <laughs>